Hello there, it's the Card Corner and I have few questions to answer. Who is Unreal Python Automation course for? Is it for you? Because maybe it is not. How can you prepare and what are other places to learn? I would say it's a best fit for technical artists and pipeline tool programmers, but also for 3D artists who already have some Python basics and want to broaden their skill set. First and foremost, there are three preview videos on Udemy and each of them is available here on YouTube as well. So just watch them, evaluate it yourself, you will know if this kind of content fits you. And that's it. Those tutorials will help you make your work faster, easier, help you detect bugs and save a lot of money for the company. And they have one common thing. You are either automating some process you already know or finding a solution for an issue you already have. That means it would be best if you already knew Unreal a little bit. Preferably from an artist's perspective. I want you to tinker with importers, exporters, settings of your assets and so on. I believe this kind of experience is an actual reason why so many technical artists started as 3D modelers or animators. It is because they already knew tools and the workflow they were automating. Knowing the process is one of two key things in this course. The other one is Python. And while you don't need to be some programming mastermind to follow the course, you need to understand project-oriented programming principles. Really, you have to know it and I will not be explaining Python basics. If you want to learn Python from scratch, stay till the end of this video and I will show you some example resources. So, here we have two things that are required. Some Unreal experience or understanding asset pipeline in game engines and the other one, Python basics. But someone who begins really has those two nailed. I would say it is critical to have at least one of those and you will be able to slowly level up the ladder, so don't worry. It is completely fine if you are a programmer but have an empty art station portfolio. You are just not the guy who makes assets. But you have to understand how they are made. You should know what normal map is, what textures are, it would be also nice to know what the topology is, and more importantly, what scanning is. So if you understand how assets are made, you don't have to be the one who makes them. And similar thing is for artists. You don't need any commercial programming experience, but you do need those Python basics. So if you are someone who is starting from scratch, from ground zero, a complete beginner, the course is probably not a good fit for you. And there is nothing bad about it. Just don't buy it. Save that money for something else. Go to other places, learn, and maybe you will come back at some point. And at that point, it will be a good fit for you. So here are some free courses, tutorials, and YouTube channel that I recommend. If you never worked with Unreal at all, watch 2D platformer course by Dev Enabled. It is free on YouTube and it is a really cool intro into making your own games. It really hyped me when I was switching to Unreal. So I, I went through all those hours of those tutorials and I loved them. It is free, easy to follow, teaches you a lot, will hype you, and it is made by Epic Mega Grant recipient. The only issue is that it is Unreal 4 based, which is the older version of Unreal, which has a slightly different interface, but honestly, it didn't change much, and I think you will be able to easily follow it with Unreal 5. Let's suppose you already know Unreal, you want to learn Python from scratch? All right, there is an automate boring stuff with Python book available for free, and it's not boring, all right? It is not, really. There are some videos and they are for free, and some are behind Udemy paywall. But the book itself is completely free on author's page. All the content is really top quality. It's an introduction to Python that demonstrates some practical use and isn't like typical programming courses or, you know, the college approach when you are drawing some pyramids out of stars. It teaches you the basics like data types, working with JSON, CSV files, but 
the important thing is that examples are quite fun. It's like full of scenarios like you having a hangover after the party, not coming to work, and you have to send some apology letter or some explanation, but you are too lazy to do it, so you have a script that does it for you. Sounds cool, right? But um, if it's too basic for you, you want to level up your Python skills, Arian codes and encoding channels. Really good, good channels. The first one, Arian, is my go-to place for explanations of project patterns and some real life scenarios. Encoding is awesome for explaining more Python specific things and how language work itself. Um, of course, those two authors have sometimes similar topics and so on, but it's like, I prefer Arian for project patterns and encoding for Python internals and that's it. What if you are looking for tech art oriented stuff? I would really say it's good to have some basic understanding of it. So tech art eight, making stuff look good. The art of code and visual tech art, four channels. They have really lots of different topics. It goes from creating Unreal materials through coding shaders in GLSL or some other language, performance optimization, geometry script in Unreal and more, more, more. They are awesome and they are also available for free on YouTube. So I hope all those will help you because it would be lovely to see you on the course participants list, but I didn't make it just to sell it. I made this course to make your life and your work easier. So it's, if it's not a good fit for you, just go to those channels, go to those courses and learn from them, not from me. And if at some point you decide that you want to go back to Python automation, I will be waiting for you. Remember, just evaluate it yourself and there are preview videos. So it's not like you are paying something without knowing what it looks like. And that's it. Bye.